Hi, my name is Steve Menser, Vice President of Sales and Marketing here at Acronix. I'm excited to share with you a demonstration of our new high-performance 7 nanometer Speedster 7T FPGAs. Speedster 7T FPGAs offer a revolutionary new architecture that Acronix developed to address the highest performance data acceleration challenges. These devices have high-speed I.O. interfaces, including 112 gigabits per second CERTES, 400 gigabit Ethernet, and PCI Express Gen 5. They also include GDDR6 memory interfaces capable of supporting 4 terabits per second of external memory bandwidth and DDR4 operating at 3200 megabits per second. In the core of the Speedster 7T FPGAs, there are Chronix proprietary machine learning processors, or MLPs, which perform high speed math functions and support a wide range of numeric formats, including floating point, integer, and block floating point. Finally, to tie all of these together, Acronix developed the FPGA industry's first two-dimensional network on chip, which routes data from any of the high-speed interfaces to the core fabric within the FPGA at two gigahertz without consuming any of the FPGA logic resources. Now let me turn it over to Katie Purcell, an Applications Engineering Manager here at Acronix, who will walk you through the demonstration. Thanks, Steve. Hi, I'm Katie Purcell. Welcome to our lab, where we're working on bring up characterization and validation of our Speedster 7T FPGAs. Let's go into the lab and check out the demo. Acronix's Speedster 7T FPGA device is designed to support PCIe up to Gen 5 by 16. For this demo, we will show how to connect the vector path accelerator card with a host PC using PCIe Gen 4 by 16 and read and write to GDDR6 memory. What is unique about this demo is that no RTL coding is required to connect from the PCIe interface to GDDR6 memory. No RTL code is needed because the 2D network on chip, or NOC, can directly access both interfaces without routing any logic through the FPGA fabric. Now let's take a dive into some of the details to see what's going on inside the FPGA in this demo. There are two PCIe ports on the FPGA. One supports up to Gen 5 by 8, and the other supports up to Gen 5 by 16. In this demo, we will use the by 16 port in Gen 4 by 16 mode. The PCIe interface processes the read and write traffic and sends it using an AXI interface to the 2D NOC. The 2D NOC then routes the traffic to the GDDR6 controller targeted by the host driver. The targeted GDDR6 controller completes the memory read or write command issued by the host driver. Let's take a look at the system used for this demo. We have an AMD Ryzen-based system that supports PCIe Gen 4. The vector path card is installed in the PCIe slot that supports PCIe Gen 4 by 16. We installed the PCIe driver that comes with the Vector Path Cards Software Development Kit, or SDK. This is the ACE project created for this demo. As we mentioned, this demo does not require any RTL design. Therefore, you can see that it consumes 0% of the FPGA's programmable logic resources. Only a portion of the I.O. were used for reference clock inputs. We will now program the vector path card and boot up the PC. We use the lspci command to show details of the PCIe link between the host PC and the vector path card. Link status shows that we are connected at 16 gigatransfers per second speed at a width of 16 lanes. We'll launch a shell script that will use the PCIe driver to write to the GDDR6 memory on the vector path card and read it back to compare against the expected data. Now we have successfully demonstrated the PCIe Gen 4x16 interface being used to read and write to GDDR6 memory on the Speedster 7T FPGA and vector path accelerator card. Thanks for joining me in the lab today. Now let's turn it back to Steve. 
Thanks, Katie. That was a great demonstration of the Speedster 70 FPGA device. If you would like to learn more about Speedster 70 FPGAs and set up a meeting with a technical representative, please contact Acronix today. Thanks for watching.